my name is Lance. The Pyramid Catapult is really sturdy and easy to build, and it works just as well as any other desktop catapult design out there. So let me show you how it's built. The first step is to make three triangles out of craft sticks, and the best way to do that is to put a piece of tape on the end of one stick so some of the tape is still hanging off the end, attach another stick just like this, then fold that tape over. Repeat one more time with a third craft stick, then using the same taping technique, bring the three craft sticks together into a triangle shape, fold that tape over, and then fold the edges around. Then repeat two more times. Next, bring the triangle pieces together and then put a piece of tape along the edges here and here. Bring the triangles together to form the pyramid, then wrap masking tape around the edges in at least two places on each side to further strengthen the connections. Next, make the catapult arm by laying three 12 inch skewers flat like this and wrapping a piece of tape around them here and on the other end. Then tape a craft stick to the middle. This is going to help reinforce the arm and it's going to help keep it flat. Next, cut a straw piece and then fit it over the ends of the dowels. Try to get it over all three, but if you can only fit it over two of them like this, that's fine also. Then wrap a piece of tape around the dowels and the end of the straw to keep the straw from slipping off. Now we're going to install the catapult arm into the catapult. First, get a piece of tape ready, then bend the straw back like this and position it inside the catapult so that the straw is next to the part of the frame where the two triangles meet. Then tightly tape the straw onto the catapult frame. The plastic straw creates a sturdy and flexible hinge. Next, we're going to add a rubber band. First, loop the rubber band around the catapult arm like this, then pull it around the side of the frame, under the front of the frame, then around the other side, then finally stretch it way out and pull it back over the end of the catapult arm. When you're finished, it'll look something like this. And finally, the last step is to attach the cup onto the end of the arm. The easiest way to do this is to put a piece of tape onto the end of the arm like this, then tightly wrap the tape around the sides of the cup. Make sure to leave a little bit of the catapult arm exposed behind the cup here so you have space to grab it and pull the arm down. To launch the catapult, first load your projectile of choice, then use one hand to hold down the front of the frame, while use the thumb of the other hand to pull down the catapult arm, and then just let go. Okay, so that's how to make it. Now, there are basically two main reasons why this project is so successful. The first is that the frame is made out of triangles. Triangles are a really strong shape because when under compression, the force is distributed pretty evenly throughout the entire shape. Triangles also do not easily change their shape. By contrast, if the catapult was made out of squares, you can see how this might be problematic because the square can easily flatten out into a diamond. The second main reason why this project works so well is the outsized length of the catapult arm. So the catapult arm is moving in an arc with the fulcrum, which is our little straw piece, at the point of rotation. And the farther away that a point is moving from the center of rotation relative to any other point, the faster it's going to go. So by positioning the cup far away from the center of rotation, it's going to go much faster than if it was placed closer, which means that it's going to fling projectiles much farther. However, it does take more energy to get something that's farther away from that point of rotation to move. So if you're not satisfied with how far your catapult is flinging, you can add on more rubber bands. That, in turn, may require you to reinforce the frame with more tape. So definitely tinker with how sturdy and powerful you can make your pyramid catapult. And one last thing, as with all of the projectile launchers that I create, you can experiment with what is being fired. I use foam cubes in these videos so I don't break my window over there, but the density, shape, weight, and size of the projectiles can greatly affect how well your catapult can perform. So I definitely encourage you to experiment with trying to shoot different things. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.